Hi, I'm Rose. I go to Seneca College. I'm in the business management degree program. Because like Seneca College, they accept a lot of international students. So like most of the population here are international students. Um, I also tend to get a lot of questions um, from people uh, wanting to come here to Canada to study and also like people who just came from their country and are here now um, to study at Seneca College. So I get like a lot of questions about part-time jobs and availabilities, how to get a part-time job. Um, so I thought um, step one would be making a Canadian style resume because like anytime you go to, or you live somewhere different or you live in a different country, different city, whatever, um, you need to customize your resume um, for that city or country or whatever um, just because like each country or city they have like different preferences or whatever some of the like some I guess countries or cities or whatever um, they need like certain things on it and then um, other styles of resumes like they don't need it um, so I will go through um, just like a general Canadian resume for like a part-time job while you're studying here um, just for like a, you know, just for like a typical part-time job, retail, like fast food, anything really. So first things first, I have Microsoft Word opened up, so I'm just going to um, center it. So I'm going to go to that, um, so it's like in the middle, and I'm going to type my name. So this is your first and last name. I'm going to uh, make this bold and then I will increase the size. Oh wait, sorry, that goes lower. Um, we need to increase the size to about, you don't need it too big, about maybe 26 or maybe 24. 24 I typically use. And then I'm going to press enter. I'm going to um, not make it in the center of the, the text now. And then I'm going to lower the font size to about 11. We'll see if it like all the way fits in. I'm just gonna do like, write in like basic information just cause I don't wanna like, you know, share my information of course. Um, so I'm going to, for Canadian style resume, you don't have to put your address or anything. Um, I know other countries you do. Um, so basically like you just need to put your city and like which province. Um, so I typically, so I just put Toronto and then comma O N. And then um, what I like to do, you can either do like a dash and then put your next set of information. Um, I'm just gonna put a space in between that. Um, or you can put like a little bullet. I typically do a little bullet. Um, so I'm gonna copy this, exit that, and I'm gonna put it control B. There we go. So that's what I typically do just so it like it looks nice. Um, and then next I put my phone number. So I'm just going to make up a number right now. So I'm going to do 416 um, 123 1234. There we go. Going to copy or going to paste that bullet point again and then I'm going to put my um, email address um, and for your email address, um, what I do is, like, I know when we were a lot younger, like, anybody really, like, you make an email address when you're a kid, so it has, like, sometimes that email address is, like, fluffywuffy at hotmail.com, right? That's not professional, so, um, for me, I always put, like, my name, and then I, like, make sure my name is in it, um, so mine would be like Rose Fernandez at homo.com, right? It sounds better than fluffy wuffy one two at homo.com. So we're gonna do Rose Fernandez at hotmail.com. Just as an example. Oh, and then all of this doesn't have to be in bold, only the name. So let me just get rid of that. I'm going to paste the bullet point again. And then um, I like to add in my LinkedIn. I actually like recently updated my LinkedIn because I needed to, when I was working co-op, um, I noticed people would ask for your LinkedIn. Um, I had to help do a career fair. So like people would ask for your LinkedIn 
and so I had to like actually I know at Seneca College like um I had to take a course and do a LinkedIn and like create one and everything but I actually went back recently because people would ask like if they could excuse me if they could connect so I had to like make sure it was like all professional I like took a photo I have to take a actual professional photo but I took like just like a selfie or whatever um so I'm gonna put my LinkedIn this is what I like to do dash and then your name your username so I'm just gonna do Rose Hernandez as an example and then that's it and then what I like to do here, I don't like to do like a cross. Uh, I mean, I like to do like a line across just to like start the next thing. So I just do these dashes here all the way across. Get that and then enter, but I'm gonna do backspace so it stays not like a solid line, just stays like that. Um, and then the next thing is you need to have an object objective. So what your resume is trying to convey and what you want um, when you give out your resume. So I'm gonna do that in bold, objective. And I'm also going to underline that. And so, Um, I'm going to, so if you want a part-time job, just like one that you could work um, while you're studying at college, I would just put to obtain, so you want to get, and I'm not going to do that as underline this part, and I'm going to put to obtain, let's, let's just go with a part-time, right? Oh, why does this keep underlining part-time? Why does this keep on underlining? I don't want it to be underlined. Oh wait, okay, let's give it that. To obtain a part-time position at, um, so I'm just gonna make up an example at um, Law Boss, or because this is for Seneca College students typically, like people watching. Um, I'm going to put to obtain a part-time position at No Frills because No Frills is, I mean, No Frills, the grocery store is right beside Seneca Newham, you know, kind of fits the theme, No Frills. Um, and I'm actually gonna change it. So whichever role you're going for, um, let's just make it up as cashier. So I'm going to do that cashier to, to obtain a part-time position as, we're going to change that as a cashier at no frills. And I'm going to put at there, space at, and then period. Okay, so that's the objective. And then the next thing is you need to add skills. So um, any skills that you have, um, what I normally do, let me just copy, or let me paste that bullet point again. I do about three skills. Um, just because like for part-time jobs, you don't need to have a lengthy resume and you don't have to add every single education that you had, every single um, job that you had, every single volunteer experience that you had. For part-time jobs, typically, they don't want a long resume to read and they don't, like it needs to be spaced out so people could quickly skim over. Like they don't need your whole like, life story and everything and they don't need to read like paragraphs and paragraphs i see like because i um at my store that i work at part-time i get like a lot of international students handing in their resumes um and i see like the styles and i'm like i can help you out like um, make a canadian style resume so that you can get like you know so to like so people will like want to read it um not saying that they don't want to read it but um in Canada, like you need a Canadian style resume, and I'm like, oh, like I go through, like I see, I see some of these resumes, and I'm like, oh, they're so lengthy. Like, if you could just like change a couple things. So, um, for like, if you're going for like full time position and it's like your career, I would recommend maybe like two pages, just because like they need to like really um, go in depth and like really check you out like thoroughly. Um, but for part time jobs, like people like. 
they work for a certain period of time and then they, they quit and then they move on to the next thing. So they're not there forever. So you don't need to know, like, you don't really need to go in, in depth. And it's pretty easy to, like, train people part time um, just for, like, a cashier job or for, like, a real retail job. It's pretty, like, pe like um, we're always, like, training people or training new staff, right? So... So for this, I'm just going to just we're going to go with cashier at no frills. So for that, I'm thinking you need to be good at multitasking. You need to be organized. You need to have good communication skills. Um, you need to be able to work in a fast paced environment. So you need to be able to like check out items fast. And also you need to be able to or you need to have good customer service skills because you're going to be dealing with people and talking to them. So you're going to have to know how to solve like any like customer situations that arise. So for that, the, so for three skills, I'm going to put. Um, let's just put very organized, comma, um, can work in a fast paced environment and then we're going to go to the next one and i'm going to do or i'm going to do um control v to paste that um colon bullet point thingy in and then i'm going to put um excellent uh, customer service skills, comma, um, uh, how about, um, hmm, what else did I say? I said multitasking, excellent, so excellent customer service skills and oral communication. We'll do that. And then next bullet point will be, sorry, control V. Oh, no, not my emojis. And then control V, we're gonna do. Um, I think I'm gonna move that up too. And we're gonna do, I'm gonna move that up. Oh wait, let me do that, okay. Mm, and then I'm gonna do so great at multi, how about great at multitasking? At mul multi-tasking and um friendly attitude friendly attitude okay so that's good like, like three skills more like six because like you kind of gotta fill that space up i guess um okay so what's next so i'm going to i think i think i'm gonna do or no, no i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna do so next i'm going to put in my education um this education and okay so here i'm gonna put um, since we go to Seneca College, let's just say, so since I'm at Seneca College, um, let's just do, for education, let's do computer programming. I don't really know anything about computer programming, but let's do that. And I'm going to do, let's just say diploma. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put a dash and I'm going to put Seneca College. And for this, I, or right here, I do, um, do that little, like, dot thing, I think. And then I'm going to put, or I can do, like, a little dash if I want. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to put the year that I did this diploma. So I'm going to do, let's just say, make it up as 20, 21 to 20, about, like, two years, 2023. Um, if you're still um, studying, you can always put present, so you're still doing it. Or you could do, um, you could do, you could do, um, if you're expected to graduate, say, in April like me, you can put April 2023. So 
so from 2021 and because you put april 2023 i would also make it equal so i wouldn't just leave it as a year 2021 i would actually put the month that you started so let's just say september just to make it cohesive and then underneath i'm gonna put um about why is this like is this double spaced okay so underneath this this is just an example um, I'm going to put three bullet points the same to be cohesive with the three skills that you have. And for this, I'm going to, I'm going to do a dash just because I want the skills to stand out. Um, I, I mean, I guess you could do bullet points, but I typically just do a dash. Um, and then I'm going to write like three skill or three things that I learned in this program. Um, and again, if you are currently, or if you're expected to graduate in April, I would, I would say learning, like learning Microsoft Excel. But if micro, Microsoft Excel, let's just say that as a, a as a skill. Um, but I would go more. Sorry, I would like. Um, this is like very generic. You would have to go more into detail about like one line or maybe maybe even like two lines of it. If like, but again, you don't want it to be like too lengthy for a part-time resume, just a generic one. Um, but if like say if you already finished this, um, say in 2022 or 2023 or whatever, right? Instead of learning Microsoft Excel, because you're not currently doing that, you would put learned Microsoft Excel. Um, so let's just say that as an example, learned Microsoft Excel, and then another point would be, um, learned how to present myself, learned how, how to make, let's just say online presentations with online presentations using Microsoft Teams and PowerPoint. Let's just say that. Boom, um, learned how to work in a team setting and lead a team, lead group projects, let's say, group projects. Because this is for a cashier role at No Frills, um, I mean, the education, like, the skills, you kind of want it to be like, I mean, you could always just, if it's unrelated to the cashier job, but try to make it, I guess. But if not, then that's fine. And then, um, so I'm just, I'm just making up this resume, right? Um, so for me, I typically do about like, because I have, I did the diploma and then I did the advanced diploma and then now I'm doing the bachelor's degree. I had three education parts. So it filled up the page, but I'm just gonna do one just to show you. And then, so it also matched like three, three, you know, there's three skills and then there's three educations. And then for my work experience, which I'm gonna go over right now, it was three jobs that I listed. And then that filled up the page. But if you don't have like, it's fine. You can go into more detail of your educational skills or whatever, kind of fill up, fill up the page. Um, so I'm just gonna go to, next I'm gonna go to work experience. And I'm going to, let's just make it up. Um, let's just say that I worked at um, Loblaws, let's say. Or, sorry, let me not put that there. But I worked as a cashier, cashier. And then I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put dash Loblaws. Loblaws Canada. I think that's the name, right? Loblaws Canada. I don't know, or it could just be Loblaws. And I'm gonna put from, um, and like, see how I did the month in September, and then I changed that back, but like, let's just say December for that. Um, you also want to put the month and the date for here, even if, like, just so it matches, right? Um, so I'm gonna do, um, let's just say July 2021 to August 2021. Done. And then I'm going to put three, um, 
three things that you did at that job at that job um and it could be skills it could be something that you learned it could be just like role role responsibilities um so for this i'm just going to say i'm gonna say um welcomed guests welcomed get let's just say customers welcome customers because it's not a restaurant it's like a grocery store so they're customers right um or you could say guests um welcome customers to store and answered questions they had done and then another thing could be because you're a cashier um scanned um scanned grocery items grocery items and bagged them for customers and then another thing could be took payments and um sometimes because uh sometimes for these like cashier roles or like retail jobs they want like it's better if you have experience but if not then it's kind of easy to train people but um typically like with these roles they you either do like morning or you do closing so you either have to open the cash or you have to close the cash so if you have experience then i would put took payments and say if you um typically did like closing shifts and i put and took payments and closed cash and um and credit machines credit card machines and that's it of course um it does look bare right now like this part but i'm just showing you like an example um but say if I like copy and pasted this, copy and pasted this, let's just say, I'm not gonna do like three different examples, but I will show you what it looks like. Just like filled up. And then if I copied and pasted, control C, this, and then did that again. Or let me actually do this, there we go. There we go. Oh wait, no, let me get rid of that. And let me get rid of the space, sorry. I'm like, what? Why is my, okay. And then, um, let's just do this again. Let's highlight it and let's do lower. So it fits on one page. Okay, honestly, like typically I use like 12 font. I'm just gonna get rid of that because I don't know what's going on here. I think I may have like written too, well, no, I haven't written too much. Okay, so I figured out the mistake because I'm like, I'm trying to like hurry up because I gotta go back to residence and I gotta like take a shower, eat, and then get ready for tomorrow, wake up and like get ready for work and everything and get like some stuff done. So I'm trying to like rush and everything. So I'm not like fully, I'm trying, I'm trying to like put my full attention here, but okay. So the thing that I messed up is um, because like for these part-time jobs, your education doesn't necessarily have to correlate with um, your, um, or doesn't have to like, you know, be similar to the job that you want, right? So typically what I, cause I looked back at my actual resume. So typically what I do, I don't do three bullet points. Um, for the work experience, I do do three bullet points, so that's why. Um, and then I match it with the three bullet points here with the skills. Um, so I'm going, so, but for the education, I just do like two bullet points. So that's like it wasn't fitting on the, on the page. Because I'm like, this writing is too small, like nobody wants to read that. Okay, so I'm going to do, let's just get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. And then, yeah, see, it fits on one page now. Okay. 
let's get rid of that okay so it's on one page and then also i did the dash again on this to separate it and i also didn't need that two dot thingy but i did underline this and I did, uh, okay, I'm gonna do that for the work experience as well. This is literally how my resume looks. And I have no problem getting like part-time jobs. There we go. Boom. I lied again, so I actually did this dash thing again. I guess I did the three, or I guess I did these dashes to separate out each, each like category. So it looks more organized. You can kind of skim through each category, I guess so it doesn't look too lengthy. So this is what a typical Canadian style resume typically looks like. Um, this is the layout that I use, um, and we are just going to pretend that it all fits on one page. I don't know why it's doing that. I think because this is like kind of spaced out. I don't know, I tried to put this in like one, Let's see, I'll, I'll do it again. But it like there's like a space in this part here, and it should be like a little bit up, I guess. So I think this is like the issue here, but I'm not, you know, you get the gist of what a Canadian style resume looks like and what you need to include and what you don't. You don't have to include your age. You don't have to include if you're married or not. You don't have to include what religion you're from. None of that. Um, just, and you don't have to include your address, just your city, phone number, email. You don't have to include your LinkedIn if you don't want to. Um, if you want to, up to you. And then just your objective, so what you want to get out of the resume when you're giving it to someone. And every time you're doing, every time you're handing out resumes or applying, change it to that specific um, store. So if you are going to work at uh, No Frills, if you're going to work at Loblaws, change the name, change the job role. So if you're going to be um, stocking up, so I guess, or if you're going to do like retail stock up, so retail stock clerk or whatever at... Um, let's just say at Aritzia, at, um, at uh, a Gap, at Old Navy, but whatever, right? So you would change it there. And if it's a full-time position, change it. So each time change. And then each time customize what skills that you would think would like that job require. And you can always Google this up, what the cashier, um, job skills and you could put that in right here um, and then education education is pretty like you, oh you don't have to include elementary school you don't have to include high school um, just like relevant education or your latest and then for work experience you don't have to include the first job you ever did when you were 15 right like um, people change positions and they change sometimes people change industries too so if say if you for example say if you uh when you were 15 you got a job as um a skating teacher and now you're applying to be a cashier right the two don't uh you can actually put that experience in um just because customer service and then also um friendly attitude um you're able to handle conflicts i assume you're able to talk to people blah 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 so you can put that but you don't have to like include your first job that you ever got like if you have like more recent experience put the most recent experience so yeah that is how to make a general canadian style resume for a part-time job as a college student or as a student or just a general resume um i hope that helped i hope that answered some questions um yeah, I hope that helped you out. So maybe you can like, you know, design your own resume, start applying, send it out, and hopefully you get some like good job offers. And hopefully like you find it easier to um, find a part-time job now.